So how to put timer on the iPad and let's get started. So there are multiple different ways you might look into it, right? So it depends on what exactly you want to do. Do you want to set a timer for, you know, some random activity? Well, you use the clock app and then move over into the timer section, adjust the exact amount of like seconds, minutes and hours. And then you can hit start. And after the timer is up, you will hear a sound the one which you have set up in here during the setup process. So this is how you can put a regular timer on the iPad. But outside of that, there is a timer for your individual applications, for example. So inside of the settings, you can find a screen time and in it there, there is what's called app limits. And you can individually add app limits for any application you want, meaning that you choose, I don't know, like Instagram or a game or whatever it might be, you choose that as an app and again, similarly, adjust the amount of minutes and hours of how long this app is allowed to be used. So you are putting a timer, but on a specific application. So that's a different approach. Of course, there is more to get into and I have a like, bunch of different tutorials on this channel about screen time and how you can set it up properly. Also, outside of that, you have the downtime, which is another type of timer for the iPad where you can schedule a down period where only selected few features or apps will be functional and allowed to be used on the iPad. So that is like another different third type of the of the timer. So let me know below in the comments which one you meant when you were looking up this video. So go ahead and do that. But thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up to let me know that you liked the video and found it helpful. Most definitely subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you in the future.